Today I'm going to be showing you how to DIY replace a light fixture that you may have in a hallway or a closet that's become outdated. And you can switch it over to an LED fixture. Uh, this one's by Hampton Bay. They're all pretty similar. This is the old fixture. I just did one uh, for my TikTok and now I'm going to do a little bit of a longer tutorial and go more step by step on how to replace a light fixture that either is outdated or it's gone bad or you're just looking to upgrade to something different. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you step by step what to do. Okay, so the first step in any electrical project is going to be to go to your circuit breaker panel. So over here, <clears throat> the panel's labeled really well. I know that I'm doing the master closet, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this breaker off. I've left the lights on so that when I go back to the closet, I don't need a voltmeter to make sure that the power is off. If the light fixture is completely dead, you'll need to check it with a voltage pen to make sure you got the correct breaker. But I'm very confident that this is the right one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with uh, removing the old fixture. So these light fixtures are comprised of a, middle, a stem that goes up in the middle that secures the shade. And then there'll be two screws that secure the, uh, the light fixture to the electrical box that's inside of there. If the light's been on, be careful because if it had incandescent lighting, it can be kind of hot when you're taking it apart. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you how I take this apart. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put a little pressure on the glass with one hand and we'll remove the screw that secures the shade. And this glass should just come right out and expose the fixture. Once the fixture's out inside here, there's going to be two screws. Um, it's a little warm up there, so I'm going to use a pair of pliers first just to start loosening them up. And it's also, they're kind of round, they're hard to grip by hand. Some other fixtures, you, you may not need a plier, you can just grab them by hand. Once these things are loose, there's um, two things that are going to happen. The, uh, just the nut will come out and the screw will, will stay in the fixture, or the whole screw will come out. Either way, it doesn't really matter because your new fixture is going to come with new hardware. And if you have a standard electrical box, you're not going to have any problems. So go ahead and uh, put a warm up here because this fixture was just on. Be careful around these bulbs. They're not that hot, but all right, let's see what we got. If we got the screw, looks like we just, no, we got the whole screw coming out. Oh no, just the little nut came out. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I think they're an eighth inch thread, machine thread. I'm not sure what the, uh, um, the spacing on the threads is, but I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this all the way. And then the fixture is just going to come down. There we go. Here it comes. And you should be left with just wires. Uh, and that's what's holding it in place. Typically the ground wire is the one that's supporting the weight, but you really never know. So you got to be careful. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish all these electrical connections outside of the fixture. So I have access to remove them and you just want to twist your wire nuts free. That's your green, that's your ground. Your white is going to be your neutral and your black is going to be the hot wire. Um, <clears throat> so you can take your fixture and just toss it away. And while I'm up here, I've already done one of these fixtures. So I know that this bracket, that's like an extension bracket, it's not going to work for this fixture. You don't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. This was for the old fixture. Um, but this surface mount fixture, it, it, it's not going to require this bracket. These are really dependent on the fixture that you get. So, you know, you can always just save the pieces in case, um, in case it doesn't work. You can switch it over if you need this bracket or not. But I know for a fact that this one and most surface mount LED fixtures, you're not going to need this. So go ahead and get this out of the way. And then we're going to be ready. Uh, we're going to put these screws back in. These screws also come with the new fixture. Um, so in case yours are stripped or they're uh, too short, we're going to go ahead and put these back in. Uh, I think that's a decent camera angle there. Uh, because I know that's what's going to be required in order to secure the new light fixture. Basically, there'll be some holes that'll line up after you connect your wires. And the new fixture will slide over and then you'll tighten the screws. So we're going to go ahead and unbox the fixture now. Okay, uh, some things to note also on these fixtures. Uh, you want to check if you have a dimmer. Uh, you want to make sure that your fixture is dim dimmer compatible. And this is going to tell us here uh, which types of dimmers it's compatible with. Uh, a lot of times with LED fixtures, 
And the main problem with why they may die early is because you had them on a circuit that was dimmable and the fixture wasn't dimmable or the dimmer just wasn't compatible. Uh, I'll show you how you can check to see if your dimmer is compatible here in a minute. I've already checked on these ones and it's the same brand. Should be compatible, I'm 95% sure. Uh, so I always open the box with a nice blade. You can get this blade on the link in my bio. This is a Two Edgy uh, by Zorcorp. It's a really great tool. Uh, if you do a lot of work around the house, it's nice to have a good sharp edge on a putty knife and uh, with a built-in blade on it. This is the only one I use now, I love it. Uh, so this is real simple, not a whole lot to this fixture. I've already been through the instructions, which I should suggest that you do if this is the first time that you're um, putting one of these in. But basically it comes with a hardware pack and the fixture and that's it. So the, the cover is just secured by three screws. So we're gonna take those off. Uh, we'll need them for later once we're done installing the fixture. Remove the plate, remove the, the ceramic or whatever glass, frosted glass this is. And that's gonna leave you with the light fixture here. I apologize, it's a little dark. Let's see if I can turn the other light on here. There we go. Got a little more light now. Uh, so this is an LED light fixture. Everything here is just self-contained. There's no replacement parts on this. Um, you can see you got a couple different patterns for where the screws can go uh, for the mounting. You got a ground screw or ground wire, a neutral wire, and a hot wire. So all of those are going to line up exactly how it was up there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's very lightweight, so you shouldn't need a second person to help you install it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, with these ones, though, when they go bad, if they do go bad, uh, they just got to replace the whole fixture. There's no bulbs involved in these ones. You just change it out. So... I'll meet you back up top and uh, we'll get this one uh, installed. Okay, so I am going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the new wire nuts that came in the packaging here. Uh, it comes with uh, three wire nuts, it comes with two of these, uh, two of these screws in case the ones are stripped for the ones that were there before. In this case, I'm not going to need it. The only thing I'm going to take out of that red bag, whoop, caught it is these uh, three wire nuts. Uh, this is gonna help me connect my three wires here. So the connections on here, they look good to me, but you could restrip these wires if um, you, know, you don't have good insulation and just cut them short if they're burnt or something like that. But these ones look like they're in great shape. There's nothing else really left to do. So what I like to do is uh, the ground screw. I take that one first and connect it to my green wire. And that will kind of support the weight of the fixture while I'm putting the rest of the wires in place. Um, some fixtures will have a dedicated wire just to hold it up that you can wrap inside of the box. This one's super lightweight. You don't really need anything else. And it doesn't really matter what order you connect this. If you've got the power off, uh, you can connect them any which way you want. Um, black first, white first. I'm gonna go with the white next, just because that was the first one that I grabbed. And you really want these wire nuts to be really secure, make a good connection. It's gonna be a very low current drawing circuit, so it doesn't have to be an amazing connection, but uh, just go a couple of times around with the wire nut. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight times. When you start seeing the wire starting to curl around itself, uh, you know you've got it in place pretty well. So once those are all done, you can start shoving your wires. If you have a lot of slack, this will be easy. If you don't have a lot of slack, you know, it's gonna be, you make your life a little more difficult. Um, hopefully these screws will now fit through. Yes, this one fits and this one fits. Okay, so it takes a little practice to get this right, but once you get the screws, you twist the fixture a little bit and that's gonna lock, lock this in so it can't fall down. And then you just tighten your screws. You don't, go, you don't gotta go too crazy tight on these because you don't wanna crack anything. And it's not gonna, it doesn't support a lot of weight, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so it's flush with the ceiling. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cover and the three screws that secure it. All right, so I'm gonna stick this up here. I'm gonna hold my glass in place. And this is again, just a bit of a balancing act uh, in order to get these uh, screws lined up and keep the thing from falling. So I'm going to get this one over here that's closest to me. Uh, I'm going to grab 
grab, maybe put this one in over here as well. There we go. So now I've got it in place. I got a free hand. I can start screwing in these little nuts that secure the frosted glass. And it's two down, one to go. Shift the glass a little bit so I get even pressure on all of them. And your light fixture is installed now. So I'm going to go turn the breaker back on. Okay, so we're back at the breaker panel. Uh, we're going to go ahead and flip this back on. And when we walk back over to our light fixture, oh, it looks like I left the switch back on. All right, let there be light. So it's as easy as that. Uh, definitely a DIY ready project. If you have uh, questions along the way, feel free to comment. I'd uh, mention now about the dimmer situation. So this dimmer here, it is a Lutron dimmer, which on the box says that they're Lutron compatible. There's some specific models. I'm not 100% sure on this, but let's give it a shot and see if it dims. Uh, here we go. All right, so we're dimming. And you want to watch out if you see any flickering on it. If you see any crazy flickering, it, it means the dimmer is not compatible and that's going to um, burn the light fixture out prematurely. You definitely do not want to do that because then you'll have to be replacing it. I think they have some warranty on it, but uh, if it does burn out, you know that the dimmer is bad. Um, yeah, uh, again, I'm going to do a video uh, on how to replace the dimmer if that's if that ends up being something that you need to do. It's pretty simple. It's basically just two wires. Um, unless you have a three-way circuit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if this helped you. Follow me over on TikTok. Uh, I also um, have an Instagram account in case you want to message me there. And yeah, thanks for watching.